Hey guys, Coach Cutter here from Icons Rugby. How's it going? Uh, this is an interesting topic. Um, you know, I've had a few people comment on posts and stuff. There's, there's a couple of coaches in Brisbane um, who talk about this and also a few coaches I, I, I follow online who have very successful coaching careers and coaching coaches' careers. Um, and they speak about, you know, compar- comparing, comparison and how it can be... You know, everyone talks about it in such a negative context. And yes, like I get it, it can be the biggest negative, but it can also be a great tool when used in the right manner. And I just feel as though the word is so broad when it's used that when people say, oh, you're comparing, it's always used in a negative format. You know, you shouldn't compare to this, you shouldn't compare to that. Like you shouldn't look at other teams, you shouldn't worry about what they're doing, you shouldn't do this. And Man, I get it, like 100%. You should not consume your mental focus with what other people are doing. But if you learn from other people through comparing, then that's a whole nother tool you can use to get better. So it's very interesting how the word comparison or comparing or anything that kind of fits that line is thrown out there as a negative format. And today I just wanted to go through like the goods and bads of, of comparing. So I've got a bad list up here, um, you know, and we're going to create some different ones. We've got a good list here of what is the good things about comparing and then what is the bad. So we'll start with the bad. The bad things for me, when you're comparing against someone else, is you get an unrealistic, it's unrealistic. Okay, now what that means is that you have no idea of the work that I've done what the thought process is that's come about them doing that action and where it's come from and the work that it's taken to get that result. you got to understand when you see someone do something, so a player or a team execute a, a phase of play or execute a skill or do something in the media or post something online, you have no idea of the work that they've put in to be able to showcase X. So how did they get to X? You know, you see X and you think, oh, well, they're doing that. I must do that. But you have no idea what made up X. You know, and that's the bad thing is, is that when you see something, comparing can be hugely unrealistic. Okay. The second bad thing about, about unrealistic is it creates negativity. Now, what I mean this is, is that this is negativity around negative thoughts. You know, you'll start thinking negative things. Or this person's, you know, that person's able to run this fast. Or this person's able to do that. And and you'll start getting consumed with the thought processes of what other people are doing. And this is why people rave about it being so, such a bad thing of being comparison. You know, you stay in your lane, focus on your own goal, focus here, do this, stay. And I even say the same things. You know, focus on your own goal and do this, which is good, but... There's other things that you need to do as well. And one of the biggest things around comparison is that it also, you know, can cause blocks. Now, what I mean by blocks are, is that this will cause your thinking to basically stop. Okay? It will cause you to basically think up of ways of why you can't do things. All right? That's what it does. Comparing other people's ability, other people's X other people's methods will cause you to question yourself and create a block in what you're actually trying to do. And that's probably the biggest point that people are trying to make, but people don't say that when they say, don't don't compare. People just say, don't compare, or don't watch what others are doing, don't worry about them. That's so fucking broad, it doesn't do anything for you. You know, the biggest thing is, is that, you know, you don't want to compare to the point where you think you have to do what they're doing. Or you have to produce X because your results might not be X. You know what I mean, guys? Like, it's, it's, it's real simple. But the beautiful things about comparing, all right, is that you get perspective. Okay? You create a different perspective if you look at it in the right manner. So, for example, I'm a coach. I look at other coaches. I see what they produce for a team or a result. For me, that's unrealistic because I have no idea what that team, what that coach, everything that they've done to get to X. Okay? If I want what they have through comparison, that then creates a negative thought because it's like, well, I want to be there, but I'm not. And now I've created a block. 
Okay, but if I change perspective, look at what they're doing as a coach and go, hold on, I see that in this play, they run a really tight, hard angle or they use this skill to get to X. So I break down how they get to X. Then I take those components and add them into mine. I've used the perspective of comparing to give me a greater advantage because I can add on their skill sets, all right, from the coaches through comparing. I can use their skill sets. I can use their expertise, add them to my weapons, and all of a sudden, I'm a better coach through comparing. The same thing, the same topic, the same way I look at something, I look at it as though, oh, I want what they have versus, wow, how did they do that? Create a different perspective and I'll get a different result. Everyone goes, oh, you want to step like Quade Cooper. Well, how does he actually do it? What is he seeing in the play to make him step that way? You know, people talk about so many skills of footy players. Oh, they're freaks. Well, understand what they see to produce X. X is what you see, but what equals X is the biggest question you should be asking yourself. You know, and half of those people don't even know how they do it. It's just instinctive. So that's your job to break it down. Now, the other beautiful thing about comparing, comparing creates perspective, okay? But it also gives you a measure. Okay? Now, this is also exactly like the, the fine line because the measure can create negative results if you start looking at someone and going, fuck, they're so much better than me. Oh, I'm not that good and go back to the blocks. You know what I mean? But if you go, okay, here's there, here's where they are, all right? This is an internet, for me, it's an international coach or an international player. Here's their standards. Here's their strength testing. Here's their skill sets. Here's their thought processes. Here's how they carry themselves on the field. It becomes the benchmark of what you can improve to. It becomes the measure, all right? It becomes the line. It's not they have more than me. It's that they've done more than me right now to be where they are. That's the difference, is you're not comparing as in apples and apples, all right? They're an apple, you might be a grape at the moment. So treat it that way. Okay, how do I grow to be, how do I grow to be that? They're a big tree, you're a small tree, how do I grow to be like that? And never look at though, you know, the hardest thing you get is that you'll, you'll understand two people looking at each other and go, why did he make the team? I'm better than him. That's comparing in a negative format because you don't know what he's done, where he's done it, how he's done it. You have no idea of X, all right? So you can't do that. That's a negative form of comparison. But if you look at the same guy and go, wow, he made the team because A, B, C. How do I get A, B, C? Same kid, same skills, same comparison, different result. You win in the long run versus why did he make the team? I'm better than him. Negative comparison versus positive comparison. Huge different things. Right? And the third thing that for me is probably the most beautiful format, all right, is that it creates belief if used the right way. Right? You can compare yourself to other people, right? No problems. But if you use comparison in a positive format, you can learn from their, like, their story, their, their essence, their work rate, their, their philosophies, their, their focuses. You can learn from every single person who's either next to you, before you, or below you. Even comparing to people who are in a lesser position of you and understanding what they want, right, will create drivers for you to achieve more because they might even look up to you as a, as a hierarchical person. And if, if you find from them that they're really looking for, they love playing footy because they just love the contact zones, then why wouldn't you improve your contact zones to help that young kid coming out? You know what I mean? Like this is comparison, but it's not spoken about this format with many coaches and many people. The only time they use comparing is in a negative format. And for me, like, yes, don't compare to the other person to, to, to like create a battle. You're not trying to compete. Comparing for competition is, is probably what it should be said. Don't compare to compete to other people. Compare to learn and build and get advantages from. You know what I mean, guys? So this is, this is a sh